Pierce Brosnan, a celebrated actor, made a name for himself in the entertainment world through his captivating performances on screen. Known widely for his role as James Bond, Brosnan redefined the spy character with charm and sophistication. His career spans decades with diverse roles that showcase his acting skills. From action-packed adventures to heartfelt dramas, he has brought to life many memorable characters, earning him a place in the hearts of audiences worldwide. Pierce Brosnan is a well-known actor who has played many roles, but he is especially famous for being James Bond. He brought his own charm to the character and starred in four Bond films. His role as Bond is often seen as the one that defined his career. Brosnan has a special way of acting that makes him different from other actors of his time. He can be both serious and funny, which has won him fans all over the world. Now we want to know what you think. Which of Pierce Brosnan's roles do you feel was the most important in his career? What qualities do you think make him unique compared to other actors from his time? And we'd love to hear your favorite memories or stories about Pierce Brosnan. Please share them with us in the comments. Stay tuned because we have many interesting, surprising, and touching facts about Pierce Brosnan coming up. Keep watching to find out more about this beloved actor. Pierce Brosnan was born in Ireland and grew up in a small village called Navan. His father left the family when Pierce was a child and he was raised by his mother and grandparents. He went to school in London where he discovered his love for acting. He trained at the Drama Centre London which set the stage for his acting career. Early on, he was influenced by the works of playwrights like William Shakespeare and films that he watched in his youth. His teachers and fellow actors at the Drama Centre were significant in shaping his skills and passion for acting. Brosnan's early roles in theatre and television helped him develop his craft before he became widely known for his role as James Bond. Pierce Brosnan was born on May 16, 1953 in Drogheda, County Louth, Ireland. Raised by his mother and grandparents after his father left the family, he lived in a small village called Navin. His mother moved to London to work as a nurse, leaving him to be cared for by his grandparents. When they passed away, he lived with other relatives and in a boarding house. At age 11, he reunited with his mother and her new husband in London. The transition was challenging, but he found solace in movies which sparked his interest in acting. He attended the Elliott School and later trained at the Drama Centre London, which set the stage for his acting career. Pierce Brosnan found his passion for acting during his school days. After he saw a fire eater at a circus, he was inspired to learn the art, which led him to join a workshop. There, he discovered his love for the stage and decided to pursue acting. He trained at the Drama Centre in London, which set him on the path to becoming an actor. His early experiences in theater, where he learned to express himself and connect with audiences, were the foundation of his career. Pierce Brosnan, known for his charming screen presence, attended Elliott Comprehensive School in Putney during the 1960s. His early career included a notable role in the television series Remington Steel, where he played a detective who often referenced classic films to crack cases. This role interestingly connected to his later portrayal of Thomas Crown in The Thomas Crown Affair, a character originally brought to life by Steve McQueen in 1968. Brosnan's portrayal of James Bond in the world is not enough is another highlight of his career. The film's script underwent several changes, including the transformation of Christmas Jones from a Polynesian insurance investigator to the character we see on screen to avoid similarities with Brosnan's role in The Thomas Crown Affair. Other characters in the film also experienced name changes before the final version was settled. Brosnan's journey from a student in London to a celebrated actor showcases his adaptability and skill in bringing diverse characters to life on the big screen. Pierce Brosnan faced many challenges before he became a well-known actor. He grew up in Ireland without much money and often struggled to make ends meet. When he decided to become an actor, many people did not believe he could do it. They doubted his ability to succeed in such a competitive field. Despite these hardships, Brosnan was determined. He worked various jobs to support himself while attending drama school. His hard work paid off when he started getting roles in plays and films. He showed that with determination and creativity, one can overcome tough situations and achieve their dreams. Pierce Brosnan took on the role of James Bond in the movie Goldeneye after a series of other actors were considered. While filming, Sir Roger Moore, who had previously played Bond, visited the set and saw his son working there. He joked about Brosnan's early screen tests. In another role, Brosnan played Remington Steele, and his first wife, Cassandra Harris, appeared as Steele's former love interest, Felicia, in the show. 
Pierce Brosnan's career had several key moments that helped shape his success. One major turning point was his role as James Bond in GoldenEye. This role brought him international fame and set a new standard for the character. His performance was praised for its charm and sophistication, and it revitalized the Bond series for a new generation. Another significant moment was his role in The Matador, which showed his range as an actor and earned him critical acclaim. His peers and critics noted his ability to take on diverse roles and bring depth to his characters. Collaborators often speak of his professionalism and dedication to his craft, which has made a lasting impression on the film industry. Pierce Brosnan took on the role of James Bond in GoldenEye, becoming the last actor chosen by Albert R. Broccoli, who started the Eon Productions films. In Tomorrow Never Dies, a scene with James Bond in bed was edited for an early evening TV slot in New Zealand. The World Is Not Enough did not receive nominations for major awards, unlike his other Bond films, which were recognized at the BAFTAs and Golden Globes. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as James Bond, approaches acting with a focus on the emotional truth of his characters. He draws from his own life experiences like the loss of loved ones to bring depth to his roles. His style is characterized by a smooth charm and a calm presence, often playing characters with a strong moral code. Brosnan's personal journey from humble beginnings to Hollywood fame influences his performances, making them relatable and genuine. He often chooses roles that challenge him and allow him to explore different aspects of human emotion and experience. In the movie GoldenEye, Pierce Brosnan's James Bond is unique compared to his other Bond films. In the final scene, he does not end up with a female lead as he does in the others. And the world is not enough. Filming the cable-grabbing scene at the Millennium Dome was extremely challenging. To show respect for the stunt team's hard work, a misgrab by a stuntman was kept in the movie. During the making of Tomorrow Never Dies, Brosnan had a short disagreement with co-star Terry Hatcher when she was late to the set. He later apologized upon learning she was pregnant, which caused her delay. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as James Bond, brought a smooth charm and depth to his characters that won over audiences worldwide. His portrayal of the spy was unique, blending elegance with action, which helped redefine the character for a modern era. He also took on various roles that showcased his range as an actor, from drama to comedy. His work inspired many in the industry to explore different aspects of their craft. Experts note that his dedication to his roles and ability to adapt has influenced new actors, encouraging them to be thorough in their preparation and versatile in their performances. His influence extends beyond acting, as he supports environmental causes, showing that his interests and care go beyond the film set. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as Stuart Dunmire in Mistress Doubtfire, delivered a memorable performance alongside Robin Williams. In a humorous twist, his character was the target of a playful joke about language skills, which cleverly hinted at a more adult theme. The same type of humor appeared in Tomorrow Never Dies, where Brosnan played the suave spy James Bond. His journey as Bond began with a salary of $4 million for Goldeneye and increased to $16.5 million for Tomorrow Never Dies. After leaving the James Bond series, he reached an agreement with the producers for $21 million. Interestingly, if Tim Allen had taken the role of Daniel Hillard, Brosnan would have still played Stewart. However, if Allen had been cast as Stewart, the character would have been quite different from the charming version Brosnan brought to life. Pierce Brosnan is known for his acting career, but his life off-screen is equally significant. He is a dedicated environmentalist and actively supports marine conservation. His passion for the arts extends to his support for various charities that focus on environmental protection and artistic expression. Brosnan also advocates for children's health and education through his work with UNICEF and other organizations. His commitment to these causes is reflected in his choice of roles and projects often aligning with his values of protecting nature and supporting human rights. Pierce Brosnan, known for his charm and skill, showed his range by taking on the role of Stu Dunmire in the comedy film Mistress Doubtfire. His performance caught the eye of director Chris Columbus, who praised his acting talent. Brosnan's portrayal of Harry Dalton in Dante's Peak came after director Roger Donaldson recognized his potential as James Bond in GoldenEye. Despite not having met before, the two formed a professional bond during the production. Brosnan's journey to becoming James Bond was a roller coaster. Initially picked for the role in 1986 and set to star in The Living Daylights, his commitment to the TV series Remington Steel posed a challenge. 
NBC's cancellation of the show seemed to clear the way for Brosnan, but a last-minute decision to revive Remington Steele led to Timothy Dalton taking on the Bond role instead. NBC's attempt to accommodate both roles for Brosnan was ultimately unsuccessful, and the network only produced a short fifth season of Remington Steele before its final cancellation. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as James Bond, has had a significant career in acting. He has shown that dedication and hard work can lead to success. For those starting in acting, he suggests always learning, being patient, and staying true to oneself. He encourages actors to take risks and embrace every opportunity. Looking ahead, he aims to continue exploring different roles and supporting new talent in the industry. His guidance is to focus on the craft, connect with the character, and enjoy the journey of storytelling. Pierce Brosnan stands out among James Bond actors for his stable personal life, being the only one who has stayed married without a divorce. His career includes a notable turn as Stuart Dunmire in Mistress Doubtfire, a role he landed after Hugh Grant had to pass due to other commitments. Interestingly, the director, Chris Columbus, created his next film with Grant in mind, which also featured Robin Williams. Brosnan's time on Remington Steel was less harmonious. He and co-star Stephanie Zimbalist had a strained relationship, barely interacting off-screen, highlighting the professional challenges actors can face. Pierce Brosnan's career is a testament to the power of dedication and creativity. From his early days on stage to becoming a beloved screen actor, he has shown a deep love for his craft. His roles have brought joy to audiences around the world, proving that with talent and hard work, one can leave a lasting impression in the arts. His journey inspires us to pursue our passions with heart and determination. Pierce Brosnan, known for his charm and acting skills, holds John Cleese, the former Monty Python member, in high regard as his favorite comic actor. His role as Stuart Dunmire in the beloved film Mistress Doubtfire showcased his talent and left a lasting impression. Director Chris Columbus appreciated Brosnan's willingness to take on the smaller role of Stu in 1993, recognizing his exceptional acting ability. The film not only highlighted Brosnan's versatility, but also gave audiences a sense of hope and joy imagining someone like him entering their lives. Pierce Brosnan brought a unique touch to his roles, shaping characters that could have been much different. In Mistress Doubtfire, his character Stuart Dunmire was initially written as a bad guy who wanted to send his girlfriend's children away. However, Brosnan's casting changed Stuart into a nicer person, keeping only one scene from the original script where he calls Robin Williams' character a loser. In The Thomas Crown Affair, Brosnan was not just the lead actor, but also performed his own stunts during a boat crash, showing his dedication to the role. His portrayal of James Bond in Goldeneye included a nod to a long-standing promise from a previous Bond film, License to Kill. A contest winner from years before was given a cameo, appearing in a scene with outlines, but still part of the glamorous Bond world. Brosnan's ability to adapt and contribute to his roles made each character memorable in their own way. Pierce Brosnan first gained attention as the clever and charming detective Remington Steele on television. His performance led to talks of him becoming James Bond and even starring in a movie adaptation of The Saint, but that never happened. His early life was challenging. His parents separated when he was an infant, and he lived with various family members after his grandparents passed away. His mother later brought him to London and remarried. Her new husband introduced Pierce to the world of James Bond, sparking his interest in acting. As James Bond in Goldeneye, Brosnan brought a sense of sophistication to the role. The film included a nod to Ian Fleming's inspiration for the Bond series and had connections to other works featuring Bond actors, highlighting the interconnected world of spy films and the legacy of James Bond. Pierce Brosnan took on the role of James Bond in The World Is Not Enough, where he performed in a ski sequence for the first time. Despite not knowing how to ski, he convincingly portrayed the action by using short poles on a moving snowmobile. Off-screen, Brosnan uses his voice to support important social issues like same-sex marriage, adoption rights for gay couples, stricter gun laws, and environmental protection. His efforts and charm didn't go unnoticed, as People magazine named him one of the most beautiful people in 1996. In the movie The Thomas Crown Affair, Pierce Brosnan's character has a unique way of saying goodbye. He taps the hood of the limo twice, a gesture he first used in Remington Steel. In the same film, his character wears a Jaeger-Leckelter Reverso watch, but without the logo due to Brosnan's deal with Omega. 
In Mistress Doubtfire, Brosnan's character, Stuart Dunmire, listens as Mistress Doubtfire talks about losing her husband to a Guinness truck accident, a nod to Brosnan's Irish roots, as Guinness is a famous beer from Ireland. Pierce Brosnan brought a personal touch to his role as Harry Dalton in Dante's Peak by using his own camera on screen. The filming of Tomorrow Never Dies faced challenges, including script rejections and rewrites, lack of communication between director and scriptwriter, and on-set tensions, yet it was a financial success. Brosnan's portrayal of James Bond included a nod to the franchise's history through the license plate of the Aston Martin, which was consistent with earlier films, except for Quantum of Solace, where the car did not appear. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as James Bond, brought a unique touch to his character Thomas Crown in The Thomas Crown Affair. In a memorable party scene, he dances with an untied white tie and unbuttoned shirt, a subtle nod to his Bond contract that reportedly prevented him from donning a full tuxedo in other films. His collaboration with Joe Don Baker spans beyond this movie as they shared the screen in GoldenEye, and Tomorrow Never Dies with Brosnan as the suave spy and Baker as the ally Jack Wade. Brosnan's versatility was also considered for the role of Batman by director Tim Burton, but his take on the superhero's costume during the audition might have cost him the part. These instances highlight Brosnan's adaptability and the interesting behind-the-scenes aspects of his career. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as James Bond in GoldenEye, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1997. While filming, he couldn't visit the high parts of the Arecibo Observatory due to his fear of heights, so a stunt person performed those scenes. Away from the camera, he finds peace fishing in South Wales, sharing this hobby with notable figures like former President Jimmy Carter. Pierce Brosnan brought a mix of charm and seriousness to his role as James Bond in the world is not enough. His interactions with Dr. Christmas Jones were originally more lighthearted, but to keep the focus on the main story, they were made more serious. In Mistress Doubtfire, he played Stuart Dunmire and was part of a memorable scene where Daniel, disguised as Mistress Doubtfire, imitates James Bond. Brosnan himself played Bond in four films. His role as Thomas Crown in The Thomas Crown Affair was another highlight of his career, reuniting him with director John McTiernan, who had directed him years before in Nomads. Pierce Brosnan stands out as a unique James Bond because he is the only actor to play the role without a story from Ian Fleming's books. In GoldenEye, he brought intensity to the screen, especially in the fight scene with Alec Trevelyan inside the antenna cradle, which was inspired by an earlier Bond film. Brosnan and his co-star Sean Bean performed their own stunts, showcasing their dedication. Unfortunately, Brosnan hurt his hand during a stunt, which changed the filming schedule. GoldenEye also holds the distinction of being the only film of Brosnan's Bond that did not coincide with the release of an Austin Powers movie, which humorously parodied the Bond series. Pierce Brosnan, known for his charm and acting skill, gained wide recognition in 2001 when People magazine named him the sexiest man alive. His connection to the James Bond series is deep-rooted, not just as the iconic spy, but also as a fan, with From Russia with Love being a personal favorite. Interestingly, the theme song of this classic Bond film was sung by Matt Munro, an alumnus of Elliott School, which Brosnan attended years later. Brosnan's journey to becoming James Bond was full of twists. He was initially considered for the role during his time on Remington Steel, but contractual obligations prevented him from taking it. However, fate took a turn when director Chris Columbus, who directed Brosnan in Mistress Doubtfire and recognized his potential as James Bond, recommended him for the role. This led to Brosnan's eventual casting as the suave secret agent, a role that he would embody in multiple films, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. Pierce Brosnan, an actor with both United States and Irish citizenship, became a US citizen in Los Angeles in 24. He has been honored in his former hometown in Ireland and now lives in Malibu, California. Before his film career, he worked at York Theatre Royal. Brosnan is known for his role in Mistress Doubtfire as Stuart Dunmire. In a fun connection, Lisa Jacob played his daughter in the film and also played the daughter of Timothy Dalton in another movie. Both Dalton and Brosnan have portrayed the famous spy James Bond. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as James Bond, earned recognition as one of the top British film actors, securing the sixth spot in a major film survey. His portrayal of the suave spy in GoldenEye was memorable, and behind the scenes, the drinks were not what they seemed. While his character is famous for preferring a vodka martini, Brosnan himself sipped on iced water during filming, and his co-star, Dame Judi Dench, had apple juice instead of bourbon.
Off screen, Brosnan also showed his support for political causes, backing John Kerry in the presidential race. Pierce Brosnan took on the role of James Bond in GoldenEye, and despite a contract that reportedly prevented him from wearing a tuxedo in other films, he defied expectations by donning one in the mirror as two faces. His introduction as the new James Bond was quite memorable, as he appeared before the press with a full beard, ready to start filming Robinson Crusoe. Brosnan's journey to becoming Bond was not straightforward. During his time on Remington Steel, director Chris Columbus recognized his potential for the role. Although initially unable to pursue it due to contractual obligations, Columbus later played a key role in recommending Brosnan for the part when MGM was searching for the next James Bond. This recommendation was a small but significant part of Brosnan's path to becoming the iconic spy. Pierce Brosnan, known for his charm and acting skills, shares a close friendship with Barbara Streisand and Meryl Streep. In the movie Dante's Peak, he played the role of Harry Dalton, a scientist facing the challenge of a looming volcanic disaster. Before taking on the iconic role of James Bond, Timothy Dalton portrayed the character. Brosnan's own turn as James Bond began with GoldenEye, where he brought a new energy to the role. During filming, he kept the Goldfinger novel close by, a nod to the legacy of Bond. Brosnan's performances have left a lasting impression on audiences around the world. Pierce Brosnan's journey in film was shaped early on by two classics he saw as a young boy Goldfinger and Lawrence of Arabia. These movies left a lasting impression on him and influenced his path in acting. Years later, he took on the role of James Bond in GoldenEye, stepping in after Paul McGann, and Liam Neeson passed on the part. His portrayal of Bond is remembered as one of the defining moments of his career. In The Thomas Crown Affair, Brosnan played Thomas Crown, a role that required intense physical acting. A memorable scene had him holding onto his co-star Rene Russo to add realism to the struggle depicted on screen, a move she was not expecting which brought genuine reaction to the performance. In The World Is Not Enough, Pierce Brosnan played James Bond alongside a character named Christmas Jones. Her role evolved significantly during the development of the film. Initially, she was a French Polynesian insurance agent, but this changed due to a similar character in another film Brosnan was working on. After a brief stint as a bounty hunter, she became a nuclear physicist crucial to the story. Her background also shifted from French Polynesian to American to avoid casting two French actresses in leading roles and to connect with a younger audience in the United States. For Tomorrow Never Dies, Brosnan described the filming process as challenging. The movie's opening scene was shot in the Pyrenees with a stand-in for Brosnan. Later, parts of the scene were filmed in Germany and England with the main shooting starting on April 1st. The film was released on December 12, 1997. Pierce Brosnan received his acting training from Yat Malmgren, who was known for his unique approach to movement and drama. This training helped Brosnan develop his own strong stage presence. Interestingly, Brosnan became the first actor to play James Bond who was born after the original Bond novel was released. His birth in May 1953 came just a month after Casino Royale was published. Later, director Chris Columbus, who admired Brosnan's work and saw him as a perfect fit for James Bond, played a key role in Brosnan's casting as the iconic spy. Despite an earlier missed opportunity due to contractual obligations with Remington Steel, Columbus's recommendation helped Brosnan secure the role when MGM was searching for a new James Bond in 1995. Pierce Brosnan made a significant health decision by quitting smoking before the release of his 1997 film, Tomorrow Never Dies. In this movie, he played James Bond and contributed to the character's depth by suggesting that Paris Carver be portrayed as a former love interest of this seven. Brosnan's versatility extends to television as well. He appeared in an episode of The Simpsons, where he shared a connection with a character named Principal Seymour Skinner, reminiscent of his role in The Heist, where his character also carried the last name Skinner. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as Stuart Dunmire in Mistress Doubtfire, humorously interacts with the main character about her British accent, despite being Irish himself. He connects with former James Bond actors through shared roles. Both he and Sean Connery portray King Arthur, while he and David Niven took on the character of Phileas Fogg in different versions of Around the World in 80 Days. Brosnan also joins the ranks of Sean Connery and Roger Moore as one of the few actors to play James Bond in multiple films, a list that later included Daniel Craig. Pierce Brosnan's portrayal of James Bond in GoldenEye was a defining moment in his career. He and director Martin Campbell shared a strong commitment to the film, with Campbell's intense approach driving their success. 
Brosnan's collaboration with actor Joe Don Baker was notable as they worked together in GoldenEye, Mars Attacks, and Tomorrow Never Dies over three consecutive years. While Brosnan's role in Remington Steel is often linked to his later success as James Bond, it was his performance in GoldenEye that solidified his place in the entertainment industry. The show Remington Steel is remembered for its role in introducing Brosnan to a wider audience, while GoldenEye remains a standout film from the 1990s. Pierce Brosnan, known for his charming on-screen presence, welcomed his son Paris Beckett Brosnan into the world with his fiancée Keely Shea Brosnan on February 27, 2001, at the age of 47. A few years later, he had a brief but memorable encounter with Sir Sean Connery, the actor he succeeded as James Bond, at the 76th Annual Academy Awards in 2004. Both actors have portrayed iconic roles that overlap. They each stepped into the shoes of the suave spy James Bond and the legendary King Arthur, showcasing their talent in these timeless stories. Pierce Brosnan took on the role of Thomas Crown in The Thomas Crown Affair, where he played a wealthy businessman with a secret life as an art thief. For a scene where his character plays golf, Brosnan, who was not a golfer, had to learn the sport. He practiced for weeks to perform a believable shot from a sand trap. In another film, The Broken Chain, Brosnan worked alongside actor Gerard Swan, who not only had a minor role, but also served as Brosnan's stand-in. Brosnan is also well known for his portrayal of James Bond in Goldeneye. Interestingly, the actors playing Russian characters in the film were not Russian. Isabella Skrupko, who played Natalia, is from Poland. Fam Jansen, who played Xenia, is Dutch. Gottfried John, seen as Arumov, is German. Tishaki Cario, who portrayed Miss Kin, is French. And both Robbie Coltrane as Valentin and Alan Cumming as Boris are Scottish. Brosnan himself was born in Ireland, adding to the international mix of the cast. Pierce Brosnan, known for his role as James Bond, was the most lethal Bond, taking out 135 opponents across four films. He's also a big fan of the classic series Doctor Who. In the movie Tomorrow Never Dies, he performed daring stunts as Bond. For one scene, stunt professionals jumped off a skyscraper in Bangkok in extreme heat. Another day, Brosnan and co-star Michelle Yeoh filmed a dangerous scene hanging high above the ground. These stunts are part of what made his portrayal of Bond thrilling to watch. Pierce Brosnan's journey to becoming James Bond is a story of patience and chance. Despite being a fan favorite for the role during his time on Remington Steel, contractual obligations prevented him from taking it. Yet, his portrayal of a suave detective with a love for classic films hinted at his suitability for the iconic spy role. Director Chris Columbus saw this potential, and when the opportunity arose, he advocated for Brosnan to MGM for the part of James Bond. This led to Brosnan's memorable performance in GoldenEye. His role in the series earned him critical acclaim, including a Saturn Award for Best Actor for Tomorrow Never Dies, marking a first in the franchise's awards history. Brosnan's career also came full circle when he starred in The Thomas Crown Affair, a remake of the film his character admired in an early episode of Remington Steel. Pierce Brosnan has been a familiar face in film for many years. From his role as James Bond to his parts in various other movies, he has shown a wide range of acting skills. We invite you to share your favorite moments from his career in the comments. What roles do you remember most? How have his performances touched your life or brought you joy? Let's discuss and celebrate the work of this talented actor. If you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, share with friends, and subscribe for more discussions about the stars we love. Your support helps us create more videos that highlight the world of entertainment. Thank you for watching and being part of our community.